Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I will be making some Creole fish today. Now Creole fish is essentially just a stewed fish. So with Creole fish you use all your fresh herbs and spices and you just combine everything together and make this lovely gravy. Now for this recipe I'm going to be using my fresh vegetables which would include my green, red and yellow bell peppers. Here I have six cloves of garlic. Here I have half of a yellow onion, two sprigs of green onion, some fresh thyme, fresh parsley. I'm also going to be using some of my fish seasoning, Maggi fish seasoning, some Goya tomato sauce, my green seasoning blend, some Creole seasoning, my edible and my fish. I have four pounds of blue fish. Now with Creole fish you can either just make the gravy straight with the fish or you can fry it first. Now I personally prefer to fry my fish first so that's what I'm gonna start with. Let's get to it. Now the first thing I'm gonna do here I have my Creole seasoning some edible and my fish seasoning. I'm just going to mix up the three together and make sure your fish is patted dry. You don't want it to stick to your pan. I'm going to take the pieces one by one. Pretty much just season them this way. My oil is hot now. And to enhance the flavor, I'm going to go in with my garlic, three cloves of garlic. Nice scotch bonnet. And a few sprigs of thyme. It just enhances the flavor. Mm, this piece is good. Okay, so we're going to start to saute 
going to start to saute the vegetables. I'm going to go in with my onion. And my peppers. And my garlic. I'm going in with the rest of my veg. That's salty. And that is salty for about two minutes. Look at those colors. I'm going to add my green seasoning. Now I'm going to take out half of that veg. I'm going to start adding the fish. And I'm going to go back in with my veg and pretty much cover up that fish. Now people may do it differently, but this is how I was raised doing it. So whichever method makes most sense to you. Now I'm going in with my tomato sauce. And I added water into that same can. Just to start my actual gravy. Now instead of the water, you could add chicken stock if you have any. So I'm going in with a teaspoon of that Creole seasoning. Allow this to come to a boil. And here you have it, guys my Creole fish. I also added in a pinch of brown sugar. This sauce is so thick and creamy, just how I like it. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.